Hello there, I'm Sean Greasley and welcome to uh, our next tutorial in our F-Sharp series. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the F-Sharp interactive window. Now uh, the F-Sharp interactive window is quite a nice plugin for Visual Studio provided by the uh, later version of the F-Sharp release which we've installed and hopefully integrated now. So if you've got uh, Visual Studio 2008 installed, um, if we uh, have a look at the view menu here, if we go down to other windows and click the F Sharp interactive uh, menu item here, uh, you should then notice you've got an F Sharp interactive window down here and it will display all sorts of information. So here we've got uh, F Sharp interactive, the version of F Sharp I've got is 1.9.6.2 and it will display whichever version you have in installed here too. You can also uh, use this help uh, directive here to display all sorts of help. So if we um, scroll down to the bottom of the interactive window and type in help you can see it gives you some directives you can use, you can quit uh, toggle the timing and all sorts really and look at the history of your F Sharp interactive session so now I've explained what's being displayed let's have a look at what F Sharp interactive does if you're having dis uh, trouble displaying the F Sharp interactive tab here um, maybe it's not in the menu then uh, rest assured you must uh, ensure you have Visual Studio 3.5 installed um, and once you have that installed then uninstall an F-Sharp installation if you already have one and reinstall with the later version uh, if you download the MSI this will uh, actually attach and install F-Sharp integrated into Visual Studio so just repeat the installation process and you should be presented with this menu option here so let's have a look what F Sharp Interactive actually does for us. Uh, it's quite a useful feature, really. It's uh, um, if you've ever used VB or C plus plus or anything like that, you may have come across debugging code where you've put a breakpoint here and run your program. If we run this program here, the debugger stops on this line, and you can have a look what values are. Say x is an integer and you can step across using uh, F10 and F11 but um, if you're not familiar with that um, I'll just explain really briefly uh, if you run a program and say it's a sample calculator application and you're trying to work out what uh, 5 plus 5 is and for some reason it keeps giving you 11 and it's like well that's not right so we can step through the code if we put a breakpoint here uh, execute the application and just before it for example it may say 5 plus 5 you can actually have a look in the code where it's getting these values from by highlighting them and figuring out maybe where that extra one comes from or why something isn't working and that's all debugging is really the F sharp interactive window is pretty much the same but in the development environment which is quite unique really and quite a a breakthrough feature and one of my favorites in the uh, F sharp world so we will cover functions later but I'm going to quickly have a look uh, at an example here um, if we highlight any piece of code say if we highlight this line here we can hold in the alt key and press enter and this will take anything highlighted and bring it to the F sharp interactive window. So I've highlighted this and uh, pressed Alt and Enter. It's giving me this here. So that's just saying uh, the squared function. You give it an int and it gives you an int uh, returns an integer. Because what this function does, you give it say five and it will give you the squared of that number. So it will be twenty five. And that's just saying um, you give it an integer, it'll give you an integer back. Um, if you wish to test something like this we can type into the F sharp interactive window as well so if we type in 
squared 5 and we if we try that at this um, let's just try that let's press enter you'll notice nothing has happened this is because F sharp interactive uses non light syntax so where non light syntax is concerned we're going to need two semicolons after every statement so if we type in two semicolons whether it's on the next line the same line as long as we have two semicolons after the statement we're writing it will give us our result so we're getting a result of 25 which is an integer which is really what this said you give it as an int it will give you an int back we gave it 5 it gave us 25 and tells it us it's an integer um, the reason it's telling us it's an integer, a string, a sha whichever type is because uh, F sharp works out all these for us you might have noticed when we define this function here we never specified whether it's a string it's returning whether we're giving it an integer it does this for us based on what values we give it and what we accept back which is quite nice but we will have a look at this in more detail as well so this is what the uh, F sharp interactive window does also we can uh, highlight this statement here uh, press alt and enter we get hello world uh, we can highlight uh, all of the code press alt and enter uh, and it's saying cannot read keys when the application does not have a console this is because it's expecting to write on the console and because we're in the development environment it's not letting us do this but um, and that's for this line here but um, this is what F sharp interactive is useful uh, it's quite handy really it's used for you know, like I said debugging and testing functions without actually running the program and you might also notice it speeds up your development quite nicely so you don't have to keep pressing this to seeing what gets output every single time it can become quite tedious if you have a slow computer it might take some time to compile the application so just bring up the F sharp interactive highlight the code alt and enter you'll get your result straight away and some other useful information as well and also like I said you can type things into here also like a raw calculation 5 plus 5 as long as we have our non light syntax intact two semicolons we'll get an answer here so F sharp interactive is very quite clever it's quite useful and I'd recommend uh, you use it during your future F sharp development. So I'm Sean Grizzly, thank you very much.